needs and that you will provide. And we present to you every life this morning asking you that you give them what they need this morning. Arrabakeya y kabasaya y kababanseya. Glory, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, I present to you all those that are sick with COVID this morning. Don't let any more life be lost. Please heal them. And let them know, my God, that it is you working and healing them. It is nobody else, only you, my Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Take this plague away. Glory to God, hallelujah. Oh, Rabakeya, Rabakai. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Father, take control of everything that we do here this morning. And may your Holy Spirit move among us. We put everything in your hands, knowing that it is you, my God. Only you, hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning and welcome to Kingdom Fellowship Christian Center. I am Bishop Jim Logan, senior pastor here, and I am delighted that you have chosen to join us to worship celebration. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You have not tuned in by accident, but you are here by divine appointment. So sit back enjoy the worship if you're streaming get up out of your chair get out of that bed participate in the worship you only get out of worship what you yourself put in and look for a rhema word from the lord i believe that god has something special in store for you today and all you have to do is reach up and pull it down so on behalf of Kingdom Fellowship Christian Center, our members, our friends, our partners in ministry all around the world, we welcome you. House of God, let's make some noise for the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give him a praise that he is worthy of. Amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome family and friends to KFCC's weekly Sunday service right here at 2925 East Independence Boulevard. You still have a chance to make it on in. Praise God for those who are here in the house amen. and thank God for those who are online watching. Amen. 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 We are believing God for miracles, signs, and wonders this morning. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are praying now for Bishop Logan and Lady Cece and Minister Bentu as they travel abroad. And we thank God right now for safety yes. in advance. We thank God for outpouring Amen. his anointing and his Holy Spirit covering them now. Amen. Amen. Let's go go before the Lord. Father God, we thank you, Jesus, for a time such as this. We thank you, God, that you called us in a moment such as this, God, 
to, to, to worship you, God. We're honored, Jesus, that your son gave his life just for us so that we could be worthy, Lord God, of coming before your presence, God. We thank you now in Jesus' precious and mighty name, God. We thank you. Miracle signs and wonders, God. We yes. thank you for thank you, in advance Holy Spirit flowing through yes. the aisles like never before, yes. flowing through the internet like never yes. before. We thank you, God, thank now you, in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 So listen, this is the house of God, and we thank God for it. Y'all come and join us. We are social distancing. You are certainly welcome to come on in. For those in the house, as well as those online, I just wanted to say, you know, it was, it, it, sometimes you begin to watch commercials and different things like that. You're like, wow, you know. So I saw, I guess this is a plug for Burger King, whatever. But <laughs> but I'm watching Burger King, and they're saying, you know, if you buy the, 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 the two for five Whopper or something like that, that you get a PS5. And I'm like, that's $600. That's, wow, okay. But when I watched the commercial, it dumbfounded me, and the Lord gave me a revelation. When I watched the commercial, I saw a guy get down on his knees, ah, and fall out. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. On the hard floor. They ain't got no rugs in Burger King, okay? So they literally were worshiping the fact that they got a $600 gift. And I said, okay. I said, Lord, what is it that you're trying to show me? He said, what more should my people do unto me? What more should my people do unto me? I have given you breath. I've given you life. And that more abundantly. As a matter of fact, I've opened up the windows of heaven so that everybody that you're connected to can receive a blessing. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, listen, right here, we're going to take it back to, I think, maybe the early 90s or maybe the late 90s. But we're going to take it back right here. I think some of y'all remember this song. Deacon, you can turn 12 down just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Come on, right here. We lift our hands. Let's go. We lift our hands. Sanctuary, we lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. Yes, we do. And we will yeah. praise you for the rest of our days. Come on. Yes, we will praise you for the rest of our days. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. In the sanctuary. We lift our hands. Lord, I give you we glory, lift our God. Hands to give you the praise, and we will praise you for the rest of our days. Come on. Yes, we will praise you for the rest of our days. Right here. Come on. We lifting our hands like this. Hey, come on. <laughs> we lift our hands in the sanctuary. We clap our hands. To give you the glory, we clap our hands. To give you the praise, oh God, and we will praise you for the rest of our days. Forever, never, we will praise you for the rest of our days. Come on, put your hands together like this. Come on, hallelujah. We sing our song in the sanctuary. the rest of our days. Jesus, we give you the praise. Emmanuel, we lift up your Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, come in Messiah. Come in Hallelujah. Messiah. And we will praise you for the rest, rest of, of our, our days. days. Yes, yeah. we will praise you for the rest of our days. Hallelujah in the sanctuary. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on, right here, come on. Jesus, we 
give you the praise. We lift up your name. Come on. Come on, yes. we're going to praise him for we the rest of our days. Come on, hallelujah. Yes. Come on. Woo. Come on, ladies, sing this. Yes, Lord, for the rest of, of our, our days. days. Yes. Come on, come on, ladies. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hey, gentlemen, come on, y'all get ready. We're going to sing this together, y'all. Let's go. Yes. yes. Come on. <laughs> yes, Lord. Everybody, come on. Put your hands together. Come on. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Come on, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, Lord. Why we've got a chance. We gotta give God some praise and some honor. Yes. We're willing to do it anywhere else. Come on. Yes, we ain't got to be shy before his presence. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, give yes. God praise. Again, again, again. Yes. Let's give God praise while we have an opportunity to do so. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He is more than worthy. Yes. We don't have to wait until things get funny. We don't have to wait until Thank bills you. are due. We don't have to wait until the doctor gives us a crazy diagnosis. We can praise him now in advance because we know he is all truth. Amen. Yeah, yeah. He is all truth. His amen. word we can always count on forever yes. and ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on. Take it to the 95. Bless, 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 Come on. Bless, sing it. Sing it. Bless. Hallelujah. Bless, 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 Hallelujah. Bless. When we come and when we go, we cast down every stronghold. Yeah, yeah. Sickness and poverty must cease. But right now the devil's defeated, yes. and we are blessed. Yes, we are. Hey, hallelujah! 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 Yes. Come on, hallelujah. While the devil is defeated, we are blessed. Come on. How many yeah. of you know that we are hallelujah. blessed? That's right. We are blessed. Yes. We live in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We live in the kingdom of God. And so no matter what's going on around us, we are truly blessed. Amen. Amen. Come on. We're blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Come on and just tell, take a moment and tell them thank you right here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise Bless your name, God. Yes. We worship you and we, we thank you, you God. We worship you and we thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name, God. We're blessed when we come and when we go. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Bless your name, God. We are blessed. We are blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come, when we go. We come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him a praise that he's worthy of. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. This is the point right here. It's that point. Come on. Let's give God worthy praise. Praise that he is worthy of. Amen. Let's not give the world more than what we give God. Amen. Amen. He saved us, delivered us, set us free, and everybody that was connected to us. Come on. Late in the midnight hour, some things begin to turn. Hallelujah. He's the author and finisher of time. He decides when midnight comes. Hallelujah. Hour, yes, come on. Turn it around, and around, and around, Hallelujah. Come on. Late in the midnight hour. Late in the midnight hour. Come on. It's gonna work in your favor. Feel free Late wherever you are right now to turn around. Go ahead and turn, turn around. around. Amen. Hallelujah. He's doing around. something. He's doing something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Every single stronghold has to go. Hallelujah. Come on. One more time. Bless. Come on. Come on, give him a praise that he's worthy of. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of our Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Thank you. Bless your name, God. That's right. Don't wait. Don't wait. You can worship now. You don't have to wait for the next song. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name, God. We thank you now, Jesus. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, this house. Hallelujah. You know, yes. this morning we've praised God. We've come in to the outer courts. And we were pushing up praise like this with our hands facing up. Can everybody do this for me? Turn your hand like this. Yep, just like this. Cup it. Because see, if, if someone, yeah, I'm going to say it. If somebody was at a casino and a slot machine went nuts, you know, y'all be grabbing your shirt, bag, anything you could grab, right? So that it could fill that up. You, you feel me? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. My son, they had, when they had his birthday of some years ago, literally they put him in the money thing where it just blew dollars and things and tickets and all that up we would be huh, huh, grabbing it right yes. listen we serve a mighty God amen. who owns everything yes. everything amen, amen. everything Thank you, Lord. he can create divine appointments excuse me I'm sorry he is creating divine yes. appointments today yes. opening up the windows of heaven yes. for all of us now so take that moment and just open your hands, both your hands, just like this. Don't reverence a, a natural man more than you would reverence our God who is in heaven. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Open your hands now mm -hmm. and just 
tell God to pour out on you. Pour out on you. Have him pour out on you now. Amen. Hallelujah. Have him pour out on you now. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Bless your name, God. Pour out on us, Lord. Pour out on us, God. Pour out like never before, God. Pour out, God, that the windows of heaven, heaven shall be opened unto us, God. My God, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That we won't even have enough room to receive it. That everybody that we are connected to, everyone in our circle that we're connected to, shall receive and be filled and made whole from our overflow. Amen. I receive it. Hallelujah. 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 This song is saying, pour me out. And this is truly our request from our heart. This is our request from our heart. That God, you burn up anything that's not like you, God. And pour us out and fill us, God. Right here. Pour me out. Yes, yes. Pour me out. All I am is yours. Yes, God, all I am is yours. Congregation, it's very easy. Go ahead, sing that with me. Pour me out, pour me out, all I am is yours. Yes. Say, all I am is yours. We thank you, God, for your consuming fire, God. Your consuming fire, God, and I thank you for your mighty wind that's blowing through this place now. Let's do that again. Pour me out. Pour me out. All I am is yours, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All I am is yours, oh God gotta be yours hallelujah jesus hallelujah jesus hallelujah jesus oh oh, oh. hallelujah you know what everybody let's sing that pour me out sing it yes come on Come on, we need one of them songs that just is going with us throughout the week. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Pour me out. Come on. Pour me out. Pour me out. All I am is yours. Come on, declare it right now. Let the enemy know that all you are, everything you're connected to, is his hallelujah hallelujah surround me surround me with your glory and fill me fill me with your love hallelujah jesus till i overflow hallelujah 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 bless your name god put your hands together Come on, loud enough, let me hear you. Come on. Come on, clap them hands loud. Come on, everybody in here, come on. Clap your hands, clap your hands, come on. Right there, yup. I step down from the Hallelujah. Come on, clap. Don't stop clapping. You're letting the enemy know that everything connected to you is his. Hallelujah. All I am is yours. Hallelujah. Come on. Ah, ah. 
is yours from the start. Hallelujah, Jesus. All I am is yours. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let them know that all you are, all you are are his. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I am yours, oh God. I am yours, Jesus. I am yours, Jesus. Don't stop right there. I'm yours, Jesus. I am yours, Jesus. Come on, dig in, dig in right here. Sharpen your shovel, sharpen your tool, dig in. Don't let something or someone else pray for you. He is your God. He is our God, and we can touch heaven now. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless God, hallelujah. Bless God, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. You're worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Yes, You're yes, awesome, yes. amazing, and wonderful, Father. Yes, yes. Today. Now it is time to pray. Yes, Jesus. We've come into the house of God to worship him. Yes. We have entered into the outer courts. We've come into the inner courts. Yes. This is a personal moment with you. Hallelujah, Jesus. A personal moment, God. A personal moment. A personal moment. A personal moment with you. God, we desire to be intimate, God, with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that we know your voice without mistake, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we honor and reverence your presence like never before. We ask now that you would have your way. Fill us to overflow now, God. Yes, Jesus. We open ourselves now, God. Yes. That yes. you should be glorified and you should fill us like never before. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come to your presence this morning, my God. Father, we come to your presence this morning. We present to you, my God, all of them prayers requests that we have received throughout the days that you know about, my God. We put them in your presence, knowing that you will do because you always do, my Lord. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. We present to you this morning, my God, our sister, Dr. Strange. Just keep on doing the work that you've been doing in her. Keep on healing her. Keep on making her whole, my God. So she can come here and praise your name with us. We present to you our mothers in this morning. We ask that you touch their bodies, that you heal them. That you give them strength, my Lord, so they can also come and praise your name here in the house we miss them just keep them safe my God Father we live in your presence again our bishop our first lady and minister Bento knowing that you will keep them safe knowing that you will keep them safe all the way back and forth my God Give them a double portion of your Holy Spirit and use them.
them, my God, for your glory. Use them with prophetic word. They are waiting for that word, my God, that you're going to put in their mouth so they can bring it forth for the people that are waiting for them, my God. Use them mightily for your glory. For your glory, my God. So your name can be glorified. Waking them the gift that you have given them that they don't know nothing about yet. But they're there. And you're going to get ready to use them, my God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we leave them in your presence. Knowing that you will do. Keep the congregation whole, my God. Keep everybody healthy both in mind, in spirit, in their bodies, my God. You know what's keeping everybody trouble. You know what everybody is going through, but we trust that you will do. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Father, this moment we also present to you the preacher of the day and his family. Yeah, yeah. Father, give him a double portion this morning. Double, Lord. Father, use him mightily. So. so, talk to our life through the word that he's bringing forth this double, morning. Lord. Use him and let this word go forth, my God. Yeah. So, it can touch not just our life of the ones that are here. But the life of those that are hearing the message in this morning. Yes. Father, touch the people in this morning. Heal. Save. And let people know that there's just one God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, this morning, before we continue with the service, first of all, we want to say welcome. Yes. Welcome to the preacher that's going to be with us this morning and his wife. Yes. We're happy to have you here. We also like to welcome everybody that's in the house. May the Lord be with you all. We welcome the ones that are watching us this morning. And we want to let you know that you still have time to come Amen. and hear the word here with us. We are located on the 2925 East Independence Drive in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the second floor of the Jones Building. If you need prayers, please put in the comments your prayer request. And somebody will be praying for you this morning. Amen. If you don't have a house where to go and worship, we're glad to have you here. If your house of worship is still closed, you're welcome to come and worship with us until your house of worship is open again. Amen. Glory to God. Buenos días, buenos días a todos. En esta mañana les damos la más cordial bienvenida a nuestro servicio. Te invitamos a que vengas a congregarte aquí con nosotros en esta mañana. Estamos localizados en el 2925 de la East Independence Boulevard en Charlotte, Carolina del Norte. Nuestros servicios comienzan prontamente a las 10 de la mañana. Tenemos servicio de oración desde las 9.30. Y nuestras puertas están abiertas desde las 9 de la mañana. Si no tienes dónde congregarte, aquí te esperamos. Si no hablas inglés, podemos traducir para ti. Ven, que te recibiremos con los brazos abiertos. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Glory to God, glory to God, aleluya. Glory to God. Well, and we're going to be giving you the upcoming events for the next week. Amen. Glory to God. 
please join us for coffee in the mornings on Sundays. We open at 9 a.m. and we have our um, prayer intercessory service at 9.30. And the service starts at 10 o'clock a.m. Please come. We'll have coffee for you to enjoy. And if you want to co cooperate with it, please contact Lady Cece Logan. We need volunteers in our children's ministry. If you are interested in helping and volunteer with our kids, please see Lady Cece. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our Sunday service, like I said uh, previously, start at 10 a.m. every Sunday. And intercessory prayer start at 9.30. Wednesdays at 7 p.m. we have Bible study. If you cannot come and be with us here in the church, you're welcome to see the stream online. If by any chance you miss the service on Sundays, you can also see the replay on the streaming online either on facebook or you can go to bishop jim logan youtube channel and you can see there the replays glory to god and please like and share like and share we are also on instagram and you can find us at Kingdom Fellows, Twitter at Kingdom Fellows 7, and Facebook at Kingdom, uh, um, sorry, at KFCC.Charlotte. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have the version uh, Bible app. This is for the women, for the ladies. You are welcome to subscribe to it please send a friend request to lady cc or you can send it to myself ruth tomlin and we'll be glad to add you to our weekly bible studies wednesday nights we have bible studies right now we are doing walk the talk it is a study in the book of first peter and these studies are wednesday nights starting at 7 p.m again wednesday night at 7 p.m glory to god if you don't have your kfcc decal please contact deacon donald reed and the donation is for three dollars you can get one two three or as many as you like glory to god november week of prayer oh, we are ready um it, it started last monday and it will end tonight at midnight but keep on praying our country our church and everybody our families they need our prayers glory to god if you miss the live stream again you can watch later on facebook or you can go to the youtube channel look for bishop jim logan glory to god glory to god amen amen let's give a hand to minister ruth for those amazing announcements amen amen this is the most exciting part of the service the most exciting part of the service this is the continuum of worship you get to worship god by sowing a seed amen we get to sow a seed we get to freely and happily give our tithes and our offering amen amen let's clap come on come on amen if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's quite a few places we'll be, and it wouldn't be looking like we look right now, and everybody in the house is looking good, amen? 
Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for an opportunity again such as this to bring unto the Lord a gift, a, a, a seed. There are a few ways of giving. Let me tell you. For those online, it should be coming up on your screen. First, we do have Givelify. Givelify is a Kingdom Fellowship Christian Center. You can find us on Givelify at Kingdom Fellowship Christian Center. Our PayPal is kingdomfellows.org. Again, that is kingdomfellows.org if you use PayPal. If you use Cash App, it is dollar sign Kingdom Fellows. Amen. Dollar sign Kingdom Fellows. And of course, we have Deacon Hikes in the back who has the swipe. If you need to swipe a card, he certainly is in the back with that. And we have Deacon Don coming forward with the basket. Amen. Amen. And we all should be excited, excited to give right now online. Feel free to give. Amen. We thank God. Even if you're not a part of the house and you happen to be watching our live feed, be faithful to your house. First, be faithful to your storehouse first, but any offerings or sowing of any seed whatsoever, you can feel free to do that. You will certainly are not obligated to, but feel free to do that. Amen. But as for in this house, come on, let's stand and get excited. Amen. Amen. Let's stand and get excited and come from where you are and you can go ahead and give. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name, God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your name, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for a time such as this. Amen. 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 Online, you have all of the manners in which and different ways you can give. Go right ahead and throughout the service, you can feel free to give at any moment. Uh, if there is a special offering you would like to give, just leave a note in the note section for what that uh, should be directed towards. Amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. I like to get excited after sowing a seed, amen. I like to get excited after sowing a seed because I know that God will pour out a, oh my God, he'll open up a window of heaven and literally I won't even have enough room to receive what it is that God has for me. So that means my family, my friends, my coworkers, my overflow is blessed everywhere i walk amen amen let's receive minister trish All right. amen amen first give an honor to god my lord and savior who is the head of my life i also give honor to my bishop and first lady in their absence and right now it is my pleasure and my honor as well to welcome pastor anthony i'm sorry antonio wilder and his wife to our church on this day to our sanctuary pastor antonio wilder a dynamic preacher teacher coach role model and anointed man of god who preaches the unadulterated word of God with power and authority. He's the pastor of God's Glory Deliverance Ministry located right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Pastor Wilder has served in various ministry capacities to include minister of music, worship facilitator, deacon, finance and vision casting he was licensed and ordained january 27th 2013 by pastor james brunson his lifestyle 
is a true indication and not only talking the talk, but a true representation of walking the walk. Now, I don't know why my hand is shaking. I'm before the court each and every day, and I don't know why my hand is shaking. But anyway, <laughs> amen. He has a heart for evangelism and outreach and believes true ministry expands beyond the four walls of the church. Pastor Wilder is currently pursuing a degree in biblical studies at Sunset Bible Institute, at, um, Institute and Oklahoma Wesleyan University. He's a true worshiper who loves God, his family, and his church. He shares his passion for the ministry with his lovely wife of 25 years. God bless, God bless. Um, Sonia Wilder. Together they have facilitated married couples workshop, um, workshops and various training classes to ensure the gifts and talents of the people are being utilized for kingdom building purposes. In June of 2014, they launched their church, God Glory Deliverance Ministry, where the vision is to be God-driven, kingdom-focused, and love-centered. Their mission is to form relevant relationships with everyone without compromising the gospel of Jesus Christ. They believe that through this interaction, people will find their purpose in the will of God. They are the proud parents, the proud parents of two beautiful daughters, Deanna and DeAsia Wilder. So right after the worship team comes up to the um, podium again, we will welcome Pastor Antonio Wilder to our poor pit. Once again, welcome to our church. We are so glad to have you all, and we trust and we know that you have an anointed word of God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Minister Trish. Thank you. We bless God. We thank God for an top opportunity such as this to worship him. Yes. And so all that are able to stand, just stand now and give God your worship. Amen. Amen. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, Lord. You, Lord. You are worthy. Yes, you are. And no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done for me. Things you've done for me. Up in my place is my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. You, Lord. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one, no one can worship you for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For all the Worship you 
for me. I'll take a little bit more on 19. Deacon Tyrone. Here we go. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Here's my worship, Jesus. All of my Hey, this sounds good, but be careful what you sing. He'll test you on it. Hallelujah. As long as I got breath in my body, God, it's for you I live. God, it's for you I die, God. I thank you, Jesus, for your presence, God. Hallelujah. Got breath in my body. I will, I will always worship you. And I will not be not silent. silent. I will always, I will always worship you. you. We thank you, Jesus. We give all of ourselves, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You can have all of me. Hallelujah. Right here, just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands here. Lift your hands here. Worship God as we receive the man of God. Now, worship God. Worship him. That means out of your mouth, out of your mouth shall flow rivers. Out of your mouth shall flow rivers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Stop, don't stop worshiping. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I believe we can lift his name up just a little bit more. I, I, I believe we have something to say from the depths of our heart. I believe that there is a, there's a word, there's a phrase, that there's something that will associate God with the goodness that he's shown to you. And for that reason, I believe that you can say something. You can just whisper a little something in the atmosphere. Come on, let's just bless him one more time. 
Hallelujah. 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 We give honor to God in this place. We bless God for this opportunity. I'll get all the particulars out of the way before I start. Amen. Uh, as we get our honor to God already, I would like to give honor to Bishop Logan and Lady Cece in their absence. Amen. Amen. Come on, you can clap a little bit in their absence. And amen. I talked to Bishop before he left and uh, prayed with him, had an opportunity to pray with him. And, uh, and we pray that the Lord bless whatever he's doing in their fields of where they're going. Amen. And keep them safe and covered. Amen. And give honor. And thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity. Amen. Thank you for the introduction. God bless you. Amen. Before I get started, and I won't drag this out, I also would like to honor my equal other, my wife. Amen. <laughs> Lady Lasagna Wilder. Amen. She's a, she's a preacher in her own self. And amen. And she, she is very capable of bringing the word of God. Amen. So I just praise God for her covering over me as I go and do the Lord's work. Amen. Can we get our Bibles? Can we get our Bibles. Get your Bibles and turn with me to Acts chapter 9. Acts 9. Acts chapter 9. We're going to start at the 36th verse. Acts chapter 9, starting at the 36th verse. Let us pray. Father, we glorify you and we magnify your name. And Father, we just thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for the good people that are here and that on live stream that are hearing this. And Father, we just believe that there's some things that will be said that will touch their heart and allow them to uh, just get closer to their purpose in the kingdom. As for this moment, as for this time, use your servant. Erase any inadequacies that are in him that will not allow this word to go forth in the way that you want it to. Allow him to demonstrate the power and the humility that's needed to give it. Allow him to understand that it's not of his own will, of, of, of his own strength, but it's all because of you that he's able to stand. And Father, we will celebrate the lives that shall be delivered, changed, and set free. So we thank you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen. amen. Acts chapter 9, starting at the 36th verse. And follow me in your word. It says, Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha. Say Tabitha which by the interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. Verse 37 says, And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And for as much as Lydia, Lydia was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Verse 39, then Peter rose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him unto the upper chamber, and all of the widows stood by him weeping, and showing the coats and garments with Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter, say, but Peter. 
put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turned him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. Verse 41, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive, say alive. And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. The Lord has already blessed his red word. Before you have a seat, before you have a seat, I need you to look at somebody in their face. You don't have to touch them. Just look at them and say, neighbor. Say it again. Say, neighbor, I still have a chance to make something out of this. Amen. You may be seated. I still have a chance <laughs> to make something out of this. Amen. Recently, I, I, I had an opportunity to evaluate the year 2020. And what I came to the conclusion was, I, I, I evaluated, I, I said that this year has been a good year for the Wilder household. See, there could have been some things that could have happened that were uh, better, but as we look at the whole in an overall picture, it has been a good year for us. And see, the thing is, I, I, I don't stand alone because I can truly believe that in the midst of all that is going on in this world, I believe that some of you also have had a good 2020. Some of us that don't have the stories that everybody else is saying and all the hard situations that they've had to deal with this year, we know it's been difficult, but God has still saw fit that his children still be blessed in the midst of what we call troubling times. Do I have a witness? But I also know people of God. I also know that, 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 it, that we, some people were wishing that 2020 would turn out a little bit better than what it did. Uh, they were wishing that the things that happened did not happen. See, some of us, some of us uh, had some things that we wanted to accomplish. Some of us had some places that we wanted to go. Some of us uh, had some plans that we drew up and, and it, it had not been fulfilled because this year, turned out the way it turned out and see I came here today to still encourage you people that even though you had some things that you wanted to do I still come here to encourage you that you still have a chance to make something out of this you can still fulfill some dreams and visions that God has placed in you you can still fulfill some things that God had purposed in your heart to complete because it's never too late for God to make something happen I know I know it's November. I know it's two months left or a month and a half left in this year, but I came here today to just let you know that you can still, you still have a chance to make something uh, out of this. Uh, do I have anybody that still believes that you have a chance to make something out of this? Uh, do I have anybody that believes that your best days are yet to come in 2020? Do I still have somebody in this place that will believe that you still can prosper in the midst of the storm you can make something out of this you can you can make something huh? I dare somebody say we're gonna make something out of this yeah yeah I still believe that you have a chance uh, to make something out of this uh, but I gotta warn you of two beliefs I gotta warn you of two beliefs uh, uh, that, that, that will interfere in your belief that something is going to happen in this year uh, I gotta warn you of two beliefs the first belief is uh, I gotta warn you that uh, uh, that people believe that time is in their favor uh, I came here today to let you know that time is not in your favor it's not in your favor notice I said, I still have a chance to make something out of this and not I still have time to make something out of this. Let me help you. See, because, see, when I say chance, chance suggests you have another opportunity. Uh, time somewhat suggests that you have an indefinite period. Uh, and I came in today to let you know, people, that you don't have an indefinite period of time uh, for things to happen, but you do have a chance uh, for something to happen. Can I, do I have a witness? And see, we know because, see, these are difficult times. These are troubling 
times that we are experiencing and and we know this to be the last days anybody still believe in the last days anybody still believe that Jesus is coming back soon and see that's the thing because we all are experiencing Experiencing those things, these warning signs that Jesus said or that was said in the Bible. And for that reason, we can't take time for granted. The second thing that I got to get you to be cautious about, to warn you about, is also the belief that a new year is a new beginning. <laughs> I got to caution you about that mindset because uh, too many of us believe that the changing of a new year would change our situation we believe that uh, if a if a year is not so good that when the new year come in all our situations are erased people let me help you let me help you uh, get an understanding see because if you got bills that are due on 12 31 uh, more than likely when january the first come here you will still have those same bills uh, if you have an enemy on 12 31 let me help you with january January the first come you still may have that enemy if you have an obstacle on 12 31 let me just help you understand it's more than likely that you still gonna have that same obstacle on January the first so the beginning of a new year does not erase the situation what the new year brings is a right mindset that makes you believe that things are gonna be different so I came here today people to let you know that the same mindset that you have on January the 1st. God is giving you the ability to have it right now. Have it right now. Yeah, yeah. You can make this. You got a chance to make something happen. You got to have the right mindset, people of God, to believe that it's going to happen. Let me get into this text. See, God gave me some revelation. When I was studying this text, he gave me a revelation that will help us to believe that we still have a chance to make something out of this. Uh, in the 36th verse, let's go, let's go back to the text. In the 36th verse, it, 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 says, it, says, it says, now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, excuse me, I'm reading it again, uh, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, uh, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. When they had washed, they laid her in the upper chamber in Joppa. There was a woman named Tabitha, and as it states here in the text, that she was referred as Dorcas who was uh, doing good works and she was helping those people that were in need with a special concentration on widows and the poor. She was helping and apparently that she was a very generous person to the people because she sold and gave to the people that needed it. And as it was described in the Bible, she was similar to a disciple of Jesus Christ and it was clear that her works were successful it was very clear that she was very beneficial to the kingdom it was clear that she was doing the work of Jesus Christ but suddenly out of nowhere sickness and death came into the picture and all the things came to a sudden stop. People of God, how many of us uh, uh, were doing some good things and then all of a sudden you've experienced something that came uh, to a complete stop. You were doing some good works. You were doing some things that were purposeful and all of a sudden out of nowhere it came to a complete stop. And see the thing is I can imagine Imagine some of the things that you were doing in this year and then all of a sudden something just allowed it to come to a complete stop. I can imagine that there was somebody who took a leap of faith and said, you know what, this year is the year that I'm going to start my business so I'm going to leave my job and you took that leap of faith and suddenly things came to a complete stop. I believe that there was somebody that said, you know what, this was going to be the year that I purchased my house and you got 
got your credit all in line and you got things lined up and then out of nowhere things came to a complete stop. I believe that this was the best year of your planning and organizing and you had everything lined out A's, B's and C's and then things came to a complete stop. <laughs> but see the thing is you got to understand that just because things came to a stop, it doesn't mean that God stopped. <laughs> That's it. That's it, people. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean that God stopped. See, God didn't stop. <laughs> things may have slowed down a little bit, but God did not stop. <laughs> and I came here today to let you know, people, <laughs> don't be weary in your well-doing. Uh, because you, if you faint, if you don't faint, uh, in due season you shall reap. <laughs> If you faint not, I promise you, I promise you, don't be weary in this well-doing, I promise you, hey, don't be weary, don't lose your faith, don't lose your confidence, don't lose your belief that God can make this happen. See, that's it, people. I came here, somebody was considering throwing in the towel. <laughs> yeah, you had something in your mind that you know God told you that you were going to do this year. <laughs> you had something that God was going to move you in the direction of doing. <laughs> and see, the thing is, you were getting ready to throw in the towel because of all these things and stuff that was happening. I came here today to say, you still have a chance <laughs> to make something out of that. <laughs> you still have a chance <laughs> To make something out of this. But go down to the, uh, to the next, the 38th and the 39th verse. See, this says, says that, and for as much as Lida was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him unto the upper chamber and all the windows stood and all the widows I'm sorry stood by him weeping and sh showing the clothes and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them see when Tabitha died uh, the disciples or their disciples had went to fetch as we say in the country fetch Peter to bid him to come immediately he said come immediately and they, they believed by going to see Peter and getting Peter to come they believed that Peter had the power he had the power to to make something happen in this dead situation they they just believed that Peter possessed the anointing that something he could do something in this dead situation so Peter arrives in Joppa and he saw the lifeless body of Tabitha surrounded by weeping widows. They, she was surrounded. And they came and they had started displaying her work and the garments that she had made for them. And, and the impact that Tabitha had on these widows was evident because they were displaying that they felt like the garments that she had made them uh, uh, allowed them to have a certain closeness to her. And, and see, the thing is, uh, by them bringing the, the garments, it was evident that she was very important to them. Uh, it, it was evident that they were mourning because they missed her. It was evident that she meant a lot to them. It was evident that they were affected emotionally. And for that reason, Peter had to do something because too many lives were being affected. I came here today, people, to, to give you some encouragement to let you know also, too, uh, that, that, that there are some lives that are attached to you. Uh, and, and, and whatever happens to you, their lives will be affected. Uh, but for that reason, that's why I'm coming here today to let you know uh, that that's why you can't give up now. Uh, that's why you can't throw in the towel now. Uh, that's why you can't allow a few roadblocks and obstacles to prevent you now. Uh, because there are too many 
lies that are attached to you. See, the thing is, you got to understand that you are the source of hope for somebody else who's in a dead situation. And you are the only life that they can see. Although they need to turn on Jesus, although they need to turn to him, although they need the power of God, right now their problems can't allow them to see who God is. So the closest thing and the best thing they have is you. So for that reason, I came here today to let you know that don't give up, people of God. Don't give up on your opportunities. Don't give up on your chances. Don't give up on what God told you. Don't give up on your purpose. Don't give up on your calling. You got somebody looking at you. Yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to understand, people of God, you got to understand that you are the life that some people see. You are the hope. You are the future that some people see. And for that reason, you got much more at stake than to throw in the towel. You can't afford to give up. You can't afford to say, I'm not going to do it. You can't afford to start the work because too many people are depending on you. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness? Do I have a witness? Somebody know that you're important up in here. Somebody know that you got a heavy anointing. Somebody already knows that you got a heavy purpose. Somebody already know that there's some souls attached to you. Somebody already know that because of you, they're going to find Jesus. Somebody already know. And for that reason, you still got a chance. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't mean to preach like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to understand, people. You important. <laughs> you important. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but let me help you. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get to the end of this. <laughs> yes, now, verse 40 says this. But Peter <laughs> put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turning to and turning him to the body said tabitha arise say arise and she opened her eyes <laughs> and when she saw peter she sat up <laughs> he said this he said, he said let me go back he says but peter put them all four <laughs> see the thing is in other words peter asked the mourners <laughs> to leave the room <laughs> see Jesus had done that before in the situation <laughs> and it wasn't specific as to why Jesus did it but Peter <laughs> copied what Jesus did he asked the mourners <laughs> to leave the room <laughs> and see the thing is and I believe that there was a purpose behind the mourners uh, leaving the room see I believe that Peter asked them <laughs> to leave the room because Peter wanted to eliminate Eliminate the distractions. <laughs> oh Lord, I gotta help you with this one. <laughs> Peter wanted to eliminate the distractions. I came here today, people, to let you know that there are two types of distractions in your life. There are people that are naysayers that are a distraction, and then there are mourners. Let me help you. See, the mourners, I classify them as enablers. Let me help you. See, you we already know what the naysayer's job is. But see, the thing is, you got to understand that if you still still have a chance to make something out of this. You don't need enablers. You don't need people that's patting you on the back always feeling sorry for you. You don't need people patting you on the back always saying it's going to be alright. You don't need people always encouraging you. You don't need them in the season that you're in now. You need somebody to say arise. Get up from what you're in. Get out of that dead situation. Leave that alone. Leave Leave that alone. Get away from that. You ain't got no business messing with that. You too anointed. You too called. You too appointed. Get up from where the, get out of that bed. It ain't no time to feel sorry for yourself. You know you got a purpose. You know you got a plan. So get up. That's it. We don't need no enablers. 
Uh-uh. If you still believe, you got a chance. I need somebody to say bye-bye. <laughs> Enabler. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm almost done. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. And then he said, he said he kneeled down. Oh, God. And prayed. He kneeled down and prayed. Now, even though they sought after to get Peter, please understand this. Even though they realized that Peter had power, Peter could have taken that moment and showed himself to be prideful. <laughs> he could have. <laughs> because after all, they sought after Peter for Peter's power. <laughs> but it said this, <laughs> that he kneeled down and prayed. <laughs> See, the thing is, even though Peter had power, Peter still realized uh, that there had to be God in the situation. <laughs> Peter still realized uh, that God was the one that gave him the power huh? and that nothing could happen unless God huh, was in the picture. Huh? People of God, I came here today huh, to let you know huh, that if you still believe you got a chance to make something happen, huh, you got to always remember huh, that it's God who got the power huh, and it's God who's got to be in the picture huh, that you can't do nothing without God. Huh? You got to understand that your strength huh, came from God. Huh? You got to understand that your power came from God. You got to understand that your joy came from God. You got to understand that your peace came from God. And whatever you do and you involve God in it, you shall be successful. Hallelujah. That's it. That's right. Peter said, I need you, Lord. I need thee. Every hour. I I need thee. Oh, bless me now. My Savior. Yeah, I come to thee. Peter said, I need you. But see then, Peter then gives what once was a dead situation, a command that, that proved life exists. After he told him, told Tabitha to arise. Get out of that dead situation. Get up. You too important to everybody. You still got work to do. Get up. Get out of that dead situation. The very thing that tried to kill you couldn't kill you. So now just get up. But see, the thing is here, this is what is the important thing right here. It says, and she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. See, even though Peter told her to arise, <laughs> see, the thing is, the proof was all in once she got up. Because Peter could have told her all he wanted to to get up. But if she never displayed life, <laughs> all that Peter did was in vain. <laughs> See, you got to understand, people, that although you get up, hallelujah, <laughs> out of what you in, you got to show that there is a display <laughs> of life. <laughs> you got to show... <laughs> That there is life in what was once some dead bones. You got to understand that although you believe it, people are not going to believe you until you display life. I came here today to let you know and I'm done. People of God right now, I came here today. If we can just stand to our feet. I came here today to get us to the point right now that we display life. What am I saying? Let's go ahead and give God some praise. And let's go ahead and give him some glory. And display the life. Yeah, come on, let's bless him. Let's display the life that believes that God 
from this day forward huh, it's going to do something miraculous huh, it's going to do something spectacular huh, it's going to do something magnificent huh, it's going to do something excellent in you huh, if you believe huh, right now huh, that the Lord has anointed you huh, to be the life huh, and to show life more abundant huh, I dare you to give him some praise come on hey life look at your neighbor say life 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 i speak life yeah no longer dead no longer hey as a matter of fact i bind any dead situation that tries to attach itself to you i bind dead people who try to put the grave clothes on you yes i shall live and not die. Woo. I got life. <laughs> I got life. <laughs> I got life. I got life. <laughs> yeah. I got life. <laughs> I got life. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, somebody know right now because somebody been in a situation that you were sick before. Huh? And the doctor gave you a bad report. Huh? But in the midst, God brought you back from what you were to give you a new life. And you can understand what I'm saying. And for that reason, you can celebrate because you have life. Look at somebody say, I got some life. I got some life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's give them some praise. Hallelujah. I got life. Yeah, God. I got life. Yes, God. I got life. Yeah, God. Yes, God. I got life. I got life. So today, hallelujah. See, that's what you got to understand. See, some of us, some of us have already started looking forward to the new year. <laughs> trap. It's a trap. See, that's the thing because, see, indirectly, you, you have just demonstrated the give up spirit. You did. And see, the thing you got to understand is this. How many believe that they know the voice of the Lord? How many believe it? Now, if the Lord told you at the beginning of the year that it was going to happen this year, and it hasn't happened yet, why are you looking forward to next year already? When you know the voice of the Lord. This is the thing I told my congregation. I said this at the beginning of the year before the, this thing had even hit. I said, you know what? Our vision was... The year of fulfilled promises. <laughs> the year of fulfilled promises. But the thing is, in the sense that God gave me the year of fulfilled promises as a vision, this thing hits. And it wasn't that the Lord changed the vision for this year. It was just another layer to the vision that God had already given. <laughs> See, the thing is, and what I had to get them to understand is that in order for a promise to be fulfilled, there has to be a foundation laid. <laughs> and see, what God was doing was he was equipping them to have tough skin and to build a demeanor that would be able to have them be able to carry the vision out. <laughs> and although you were looking at it as the promise being fulfilled, God was just starting the foundation of the promise. <laughs> So that the promise would still be fulfilled. People of God, I came here today to let you know that you may have counted this year out. But God was just doing the preparatory work that was necessary for the greater work that shall be done in your life. And if you believe that, I dare you right now to give God some praise. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. 
I believe it. Yes, God. So today, so today, so today, there may be someone that just saying, you know what? I still have a chance, and I believe, Pastor Wilder, that I still have a chance to make something out of this. But see, you haven't started the first step as far as the acceptance of Christ. And I come here today to tell you, those who are live stream, those that are here, that listen, the first step is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> when you do that, you really have a chance. You have a chance. That's what solidifies your chance is when you have Jesus Christ in your life. You. Will there be one on live stream that will put in the comments? I don't know how y'all do. Is it okay if I, or amen, amen. I don't know how it's done in this house, amen. And you can come back and clean it up after me if you want, amen, amen. But if there's one that would say, I want to be saved, uh, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior here, if, if that's you, if that's you that's saying, I want, I want my chance to be solidified today, I want it today. If that's you, it, I, I guess we can, you can come and, or raise your hand, raise your hand here. If you're on live stream, is, if there's an opportunity that you can put something in the chat, I believe that somebody will be able to contact you and offer salvation and, and go through the steps of accepting Jesus Christ. If that's you, amen, if that's you um, in this house. I want for those that, and as we bow our heads, hallelujah, for those that are in the house, if there is someone that can admit to say, you know what, I did give up. <laughs> I did. I did throw in the towel. I did consider this year done. I know what God told me, but what I was experiencing overshadowed what I heard him say. Not to say that you are not saved, not saying that you are bad. It's just that that's the human part of us that sometimes allow us to overlook the spiritual. <laughs> but for that reason, I, I don't want to shortchange God. And I don't want to give Satan any ammunition that causes me to throw in the towel. I don't want, I don't want to give him no power. So I believe that, you know, for that reason, I, I just want to repent. I want to repent, say, Lord, I'm sorry for giving up. Somebody may be saying that, you know what, I have not evaluated how important I was to the success of someone else's life. I haven't. I, I've, I've really, I knew it. But I didn't know to what degree the impact I had on their life. I didn't. And, and I didn't realize that when I would give up, it, when I throw in a towel, it may affect them. I didn't realize it. I really, I was thinking of myself. And for that reason, I, 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 I just want to repent. then somebody needs the faith to truly believe <laughs> that you have a chance. We got a month and 15 days. I done seen the Lord do it in less than that. Do I have a witness? Some of us were in situations that we didn't have means to take care of something, but the Lord sent something like that whoever it was the bill collector or whatever gave us 30 days but the Lord said no you ain't got to wait that long I'll give it to you in a few hours hallelujah <laughs> Woo. 
We know the work of the Lord. He'll do it. He'll do it. Hallelujah. I speak into this house. Ooh. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I speak into this house. <laughs> A overwhelming desire <laughs> to succeed in kingdom work. I'm speaking it into the atmosphere. I'm speaking in this house. A overwhelming urge to hear the voice of the Lord, to follow his instructions to completion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I speak into this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, God. Yes, sir. Woo. Yeah. I speak into this house the confidence, the boldness, and the authority necessary. He. Hallelujah. In these trying times. Hallelujah. It shall first be displayed in your life. Hallelujah. Yes, God. It shall be. As a matter of fact, you will not have to even tell folks of what God has done. Because they will see it in the evidence that is produced in your life. All you have to do, people of God, is walk in it. Walk in it. That's what the Lord is saying. Walk in it. Walk in that belief. Walk in that understand. Holly, holly, hey. Ooh, God. Walk in it. Somebody right now lacks from uh, low self-esteem. <laughs> Not that you don't have confidence, but listen, you have the, the fear is battling with your confidence. And it's causing you to retract, withdraw. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. The fear is almost gripping to the extent that it's, you borderline anxiety. <laughs> and I don't speak it in this house, but I'm just calling out the situation so Satan knows that the spirit sees what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. But I bind it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Bind it. Bind it. Bind it. So if that's you in a sense that you feel as though you threw in a towel too early, if that's you, if that's you that already, Father, and the belief that they believe that something is still going to happen this year, they still have a chance. They got the right mindset, God. Right now, Father, anoint every plan Hallelujah, every vision huh, that you have signed off on, every word that you have spoken, Father, bring that word back to their remembrance. Make it as if you're saying it again today. Father, give them the ability to know and to trust you in faith and to know that there's nothing that is too hard for you and that everything is possible in you. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for the outcome. We thank you for the success stories that shall be revealed in this place. Father, I speak it into the atmosphere huh, that not many days forward huh, that someone will come and they will show and testify huh, to what you have told them to do. Huh, and Father, to, that they have done it under your instructions and that it came to pass. So we thank you. We glorify you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. Amen, amen. Let's give a mighty hand. A mighty hand. A mighty hand. A mighty hand. Come on. A mighty hand. A hand clap of praise. For our suddenly... Hallelujah, what a great, great and mighty, mighty, mighty word this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Grab hold to it. Take it with you. A lot of people wait to give for the end of the year so they can get some type of 
if I'm using the wrong word, excuse me, but kick back for their giving throughout the year. I dare to say to you now, so infertile ground now. So infertile ground now. Don't wait until the year is up and you want to receive something at the end of the year. If your expectation is high now, so into that ground when it's fertile. Because if you miss that window, you have to wait for it to come all the way around again. Don't miss your moment. Those of you who, who may be online. Those of you here in the house, get ready, get ready, get ready. Deacon Don, if you could, please, sir, gr grab the basket, please, please. If this word has touched your heart in a way that you know you want to make it monumental, let's sow now. By the way, it's the first number. Let's bring clarity to that. It's the first number. The enemy will come and, excuse me, and try to distract you. Don't be disobedient. Obedience, for me, I'm not sure if this is the theologically correct, but obedience for me is the highest form of worship. Amen? Because if you're not obedient, you can come on, Deacon Don. If you're not obedient... That is as of witchcraft. But don't miss your moment to sow. Don't miss your moment to sow in this. You can come now. If you already have what it is you want to sow, let's sow now. This is going to be an offering given unto the man of God who brought the word today. Amen. We're going to receive this as an offering unto the man of God today. If you're online, feel free to sow. Dante, if you can throw those different ways up online for sowing, thank you so, so very much. Deacon Hikes, if you can throw the, uh, perfect, thank you. The many ways to give are right here on the screen in the house and they're also on your screen at home. Don't fail to give. Sow that seed because that seed is not just for you. It's for who you're connected to. It's also for who you're connected to. Your overflow will be a blessing to someone that you're connected to. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we all have given. At this point, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, go ahead and stand in the house. Bishop Wilder, would you like to give us the benediction? Thank you so much. If we all have given in the house, thank, thank you, Deacon Don. Bless God. Bless God. Let's welcome Bishop as he comes and gives us the benediction. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. I need you to repeat after me. I still have a chance to make something out of this father god in the name of jesus we thank you for the word that has been brought forth father i pray that it was received in the intent that you gave it to me so father allow the confirmations to come forth allow the work to come forth allow the spirit to operate as you have directed it to operate in their lives bless this church god Bless the bishop, Lady Cece, every member represented here. Father, we believe and I know for sure that they are in a higher place because of you. So we thank you. 
Go with them and go with them, comfort them, protect them, and guide them. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen and amen. You are dismissed.